Welcome back to the channel. Back on the dent side F-150. And today we're putting a new carpet in. I uh, did a little bit off camera. I ended up wire wheeling the rust here so I can treat it with phosphorus. Uh, but more importantly, I cut those two bolts that were sticking up through the transmission mount. So I'm gonna weld the little holes that they punched through. I'll show you those real quick and then I'll weld them up. So here's one. It's a big old hole about the size of a nine millimeter bullet. And there's a tiny little speck of a hole uh, here and here. And then there's a little bit of rust right there. This I'm gonna seam seal, this I'm gonna seam seal, this I'm gonna seam seal, and this I'm gonna weld up and then seam seal. Uh, everything's getting a coating of that sound deadening mat. So really I wouldn't even need to weld that. It's just peace of mind. So I'll get the welder out, get that welded. That welded up really nice uh, compared to the Bronco, which had really thin, rusty metal. This I could tell I could really lay it down if I wanted to. So I'll give you a close up here. There it is. Uh, probably hard to tell really what's going on in there, but uh, everything's plugged up, no light coming through the other side. Usually I would probably grind this down, but I'm just gonna put a dab of seam sealer over the top and then put my sound deadening mat on. Uh, I'll never feel that. I'll never see that. You won't see it from the bottom because that's where the frame is. So uh, I'm happy with that. We're going with a uh, unrestored bit to this truck. So I'll go get the phosphoric acid out and we'll uh, treat all this rust here. And then we'll come through the seam sealer. In this bottle here, I got phosphoric acid. Uh, you can pick it up at Home Depot. Last I checked, it's about $28 a gallon. I use this on stainless steel, aluminum, steel, all sorts of stuff as a cleaner. Uh, it will uh, burn any of your cuts. Try not to breathe it. But what it's going to do when it goes on this rusty metal is it turns it black. Uh, you don't want to have a bunch of debris and dust and rust dust in particular. You want it to be pretty darn clean and then spray this on. Uh, this is the active agent in POR15 and many other uh, Rust-Oleum products that inhibit rust. So I'm gonna spray this on and uh, it's gonna turn black after maybe 15 minutes. Thermometer says it's 40 degrees in here, so we're gonna give it some time. Let's see, just a little misting action going on. that set up and I'll go do the other side. There we go. We got it all cleaned up. Got a nice second coat of paint on there. Put a little space heater in so hopefully it can dry by the end of the day. Uh, hoping for another three hours and I'll seam that little bit up. I'll put some seam sealant over these little holes. And uh, yeah, it'll be good to go. It's another day working on this. However, I got to pull it out. I got a customer coming in. Putting a power steering pump in that old thing. Cab is looking good. I uh, got the sound deadening mat all down. I ended up having another hole over there, so I ended up welding that. Uh, I'm going to take out this uh, four-wheel drive shifter for the transfer case. And I'm going to lay the carpet down and then punch through into the carpet. But yeah, project's coming along good. Uh, I still have four more sheets of this, so I'm going to put it inside the doors. Still have to pull that door cover off, but for now, I got to move this thing out. It's another day. Truck was left out all night, so it's got some frost on it. I'm going to clean the shop up and pull it back in. tell you what I love driving this truck in the fall it's probably the fact that it has heat but it smells so good in there it feels so warm it drives so smooth I think it's just made to be used in the fall that's just a good looking truck there I'm really excited to get this carpet in uh, it is a work truck so I'm a little worried I'm gonna get it ruined but I'll get some floor mats I'll get something in there but 
Uh, I'm gonna take that shifter off the NP205. We'll get that carpet stuffed up in there. So I'm under the truck and uh, this shifter is not gonna come out easy. That's the bolt and it's touching the body. Uh, I'm not interested in messing up the body. So what I'm gonna do is cut the shifter right here at this weld, put the tunnel cover back on, install the carpet completely, and then cut the hole, weld the shaft back on. Far more comfortable welding than I am with carpet work. Uh, carpet was, like I said, 270 something bucks, so I'd rather not mess that up. I have plenty of shifters around here. Uh, people don't really buy them. They're just left left behind with the transfer cases. So I'll get that nut tightened back up. It was an inch and an eighth, if you're curious. Uh, get that tight, then I'll cut the shifter off. Now with the cab all ready, I'm gonna wash my hands up, get all this dirt and grease off me, try to get that carpet in. Might not lay perfectly flat, so if I gotta let it sit for a day, I'm gonna let it sit. So let's look at that. So after about half an hour of messing with this, I cut the top two inches off up by the firewall and uh, snuck it up in there. And I was able to kind of shimmy it around and really get these uh, floor pan lines to line up. So what I was focusing on here is this line that goes around, so this curve, then there's actually a tunnel curve built into this carpet. So still a little floppy here, but the seat does come out to here. So. Uh, I think if I just let it sit overnight, some of that will come out. Uh, this line, I'm pretty happy with. There's way a lot extra. Uh, I think it's because you can also use it in 78 and 79 models where you don't have a uh, in-cab tank. So I will be cutting this here. Uh, you only see it when you fold the seat forward. And you don't fold the seat forward very often because you got a tank back here. So still need to cut out for the floor uh, high beam. And then I'll need to do my seat mounting places but uh so far yeah lines up really darn good it's not as pretty as i'd like it right up in here but that's something i'm hoping will just kind of settle in uh last carpet was super floppy because it was older right uh maybe it's the moisture maybe it's just uh being out in the open air but this has been in a box for probably months months and months maybe even a year so uh i'm gonna finish getting this kind of aligned how i want it and then I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming up by the fuel tank. Got the hole cut for the uh, shifter. So I'm gonna get this carpet folded up and out of here and then weld that shifter back in. So I'm just slowly cutting holes in the carpet and making things line up. Uh, got the fuel line, got both the uh, passenger and driver seat belts done. Uh, you saw me cut the hole for the shifter. Uh, I do have the headlight high beam set. Uh, I gotta figure out how I want this top to end, but I'm ready to put the boot on and uh, we should be ready to get the seat in here soon. 
My plan for the seat is gonna be throw the seat in and then poke up with a pick from the bottom. Then I'll know exactly where the hole is and I'll be able to drill right through it and then impact the bolt in. So this is going great. It's time consuming. Uh, I don't think I could have done this all in one day with all the floor repairs and the paint and the uh, uh, sound deadening. I mean, it's a lot to it. So I just wanna do a really good job. So I'm just gonna keep at it. After a little bit of tinkering with the seat, I realized this side was missing a spring. So I put a spring on. Uh, this side has the spring. I can tighten this up a little bit, but I'm pretty happy where it's at. Uh, this is the adjustment for the release. And now the release works on both sides and the spring holds them both back to lock in. So the seat is now ready to go in. Now that that's in there, I realized I forgot to put all the sub wiring and the speaker system in there. So that sucks. <laughs> uh oh. Boy, does it look good in there, though. Well, I know it's not nearly done, but in person, this looks great. Uh, this seat is always far back forward. I actually like sitting forward towards the wheel. Uh, I like seeing up over the hood and everything. So super pumped this is fixed. I'm just really excited to get this thing done now because I want to drive it. We are making killer progress. However, just know this stuff is tedious. Uh, you have to be patient. And really when it comes down to it, to do it 100% is pretty hard to do. Now the seat is only four bolts, right? But to get them all lined up just right is pretty hard. And then I got the subwoofer underneath that's keeping the seat up a little bit. And then to get back in there and get the seat belts done, you got to pull the seat back out and put the seat belts in and then pull the seat belts through and all that. So, you know, just know you got to take your time. It's hard to do it uh, all right, like I said, but it's well worth it. I really like the way this is turning out. I'm going to have to vacuum this because it's uh, it's got my boots and my knee prints on it. But I really like the way this is coming together. Uh, I'm ready for the trim pieces. However, my trim pieces are a little dirty, so I'm gonna take them home and polish them. So this is all I'm gonna get done today. I'll come back tomorrow with those trim pieces and we will be done. Also gotta wash that boot, but yeah. Love the way this is turning out. Uh, it's definitely got me inspired to get new dash pad, get the steering wheel fixed finally. Uh, I just have this insert piece, but I actually have an 80s steering wheel right here and it's squishy, it feels so much better in my hands. So I plan on using this truck a lot more next season, whether it's towing a skid loader trailer or my tool trailer or whatever it is that's gonna keep me from having to hook up both trailers to my main work truck. It's yet another day and we made some good progress. Let me show you. We are done with the floor. So we have our trim pieces in both sides. I don't know if you can see it over there. Uh, got my shifter boot on. I cleaned up the shifter a little bit, painted it white. Got my steering wheel cover on, so yeah, it's looking great. Future plans for the interior are new dash pad, new bezels to go around the cluster and stuff. I'm not a big fan of the wood grain, so I'm going to go back to the black and uh, chrome trim pieces. And then what else we got? Door panel. Uh, headliner. Might end up fixing that here yet this winter, but I want this interior spotless. I want it to look super, super clean. Uh, outside, there's only so much we can do with it. It's original paint, it's original body. Uh, I'm not a body guy, I'm not a paint guy. So just a good polish, good cleanup, that's all we can do. So I appreciate you watching this. If you like this kind of stuff, follow along. More stuff on this, more stuff on the Bronco coming. Uh, now that it's winter, we got the high boy coming. We got a lot of dense side content coming. Uh, I think as of making this, I got 420 subscribers, super thankful for all you guys that have been sticking around through this whole process. I really enjoy making these. Leave me your comments, leave me your feedback. Let me know what you'd like to see more of, see less of what I can change on my editing. Uh, really appreciate you following along. Thanks.